Okay, here we go. This is the first lesson. This is how to draw a dog. I'd like to start off by just doing a light oval shape and then another one here only slightly smaller than the first one. Still the same shape, just slightly smaller, and they're just connecting. Then from there, I want you to draw a circle. It can go inside this oval shape if you wish, doesn't matter, probably looks better if it does. And then I want you to draw a quick line here, and then another circle here, and another circle up here. Now, if you imagine, that you've got a line going through the middle of the first circle, then this circle will be just above that line. That'll give you some idea about where you want to be on the page. Then starting in just a little off the middle of this circle to draw a line coming out, just outside of it. Then draw another line up like so to about there, and then do another oval, and another oval at a slight angle to it. Now, this is, these are going to be his feet, or her feet. So this one here, the one in the background, doesn't want to go all the way around. So it just sort of connects. It starts up there and connects around there. But don't worry, we'll come to that later. Now for ease of drawing, I want you to imagine, I'm going to draw the body in. So I want you to imagine that this is like the cogs on a bike. This would be where the pedal is and that would be the back wheel. And I want you to draw a loose chain. So taking the top of the circle, Bring it down and then let it sag there. So there you have the chains of a bike. Now once again, start about the middle of that circle, bring out a U shape and not quite a complete U. Another oval there and another oval there. And if you just put two more ovals up here, say one there, and one about there. Once again, now this is going to be the ears. So the back one, once again, just like the foot down here, you want to bring it round, but don't connect it. Then just do two little lines there, just roughly so you know where you are. Now comes the fun bit, because now we're going to draw the smile on the dog. So starting up here, which is the nose, I want you to follow the line round. So follow it round like so, and then cut into the larger circle. Don't go right round, just cut into it. And there's his mouth. Then bring his muzzle round so it just connects and then give it a little bit of a bump there which is the fold of the nose and just just strengthen that line a little bit. The reason why you do that is because you need to know where the eyes are going to go. Now the eyes are two more oval shapes like so and then just draw the the eyeballs in, little pupils and his eyebrows. Now just here all dogs must have collars. I want you to draw the collar. So that's just almost like a rectangle but slightly rounded rectangle like so. Now starting here I want you to use, I want you to draw his neck in. So you start from his mouth, bring it in like so and then the same on this side here. So if you draw, if you draw the line that way which is that way, you draw that line that way. So it's one line that goes that way and one line that goes that way and then strengthen that line a little bit. Now, just also strengthen that because that's gonna be his chest. Follow this line, bring it round here, and then go round the, round the oval shape, almost three quarters of the way, a little bit more, and bring the line down. Don't follow it like that, bring it down, and then connect it. That's what gives the back, the top part of the dog's leg bigger than the smaller, than the, um, bottom half. And you draw a line like so, shade that in. That's going to be the dog's other leg. It's in the distance, so it would be shaded. Speaking of which, the little circle on there, that's the light and shade. We can always fill that in with shade later on. Now strengthen this line, and you can see where now it works, because you've got his paws. See, so it works behind it. They've almost got it finished now, so it's just working on the back leg. Round like so, and then here, follow the line round, you know that dog's leg goes like that. So a little V-shape there, and you've got the dog's leg. More paws, and the same here, more paws. You're almost finished. His tail in, 
Follow lines around for the ears, just like you did with the legs, or the back legs and the paws. And like so, when you're almost done, just finish it in by putting a few spots the dogs would have on them, or this particular dog would have on it. A bit there. And then draw some grass for the dog to be running on. A few little lines, bits of dirt coming up behind the dog. And you have a dog in motion. Now, the final bit is the fun bit. That's where you take your pen, whether it be a long felt tip pen or a biro, and just go round the lines. Your right teachers may say, never follow round the lines. Don't listen to your right teachers. Have some fun. Follow the lines round. Connect them. Follow the lines round there. Uh, like so. This is this is the fun bit. You've done the hard bit. You've done the clever bit, haven't you? You've drawn it up until now. But what I'd like to say is don't worry if this looks like it's all going a little too fast for you and you can't remember it all. Because every day I'm going to be drawing a different animal, whether it be a horse, a lion, an elephant, or maybe it'll be a house. Maybe it'll be a car. Doesn't matter what it is that I draw, it will always be using the same technique of shapes. And when you learn to use the shapes, you'll learn how straightforward it is to draw cartoons. And you will impress your friends, and they'll think you're very clever, and you will be. And then one day, you'll be able to draw, in your style, exactly what you want to draw. Anything you want to draw, doesn't matter. You too will be an artist. Probably better than me. Wouldn't that be great, eh? But like, there we go, we're almost finished now. But like all artists, you must finish by signing your masterpiece. And there we have today's picture. How to draw a cartoon dog. Go away, pick up the pen and paper, look at what I did, and see if you can copy it.